Hi, this is Ms. Schmidt with Riviera Financial Mortgage in Beverly Hills. Another day in the mortgage business. I want to let you know that I really appreciate you letting me assist you in getting the best mortgage financing for your home purchase or refinance. Also want to let you know that I keep an eye on the market and developments, and I'm always trying to keep you in front position so that you're ready to take advantage of any opportunity or have the best solutions to any problems that might arise. So with that in mind, I put this little informational message together. Please just take a moment to watch it. Let me know what you think, and let me know if you have any questions that I can help you with. Thank you so much. The real estate market definitely stopped after the stay-at-home orders in March, and it is now starting to come back to life, which is very exciting. But house hunting definitely looks different than before the coronavirus pandemic started. The rules about how showings and closings take place vary depending on local public health regulations, and they certainly will continue to change. Here's what you need to know about what you may need to do in order to shop for a home during COVID-19. The first thing you'll want to do is to begin your search online. Many real estate agents are including virtual tours of a home, so you can get a good idea of what a home looks like before you decide if you want to go and look at it. Once you have decided that you want to tour a home, you will need to book an appointment to view the home. You may be asked to sign a waiver and disclosure before you can look at a home. Although there are no formally approved coronavirus waivers or disclosures, many real estate agents or local real estate associations have drafted their own type of waiver. Most waivers will inform you of the risk associated with COVID-19 and have you agree or declare that you do not currently have COVID-19 or that you have been exposed to COVID-19. They will also ask that you agree to take precautions to protect yourself and others from exposure to COVID-19. Most waivers will include language that states that you assume the risk of entering the property. Even though your area may not have a law or rule in place for wearing a face mask in public, the sellers or real estate agent may require that you wear a mask while viewing the property. So plan on getting used to donning your mask because most home viewings require that you use hand sanitizer, mask, and even booties while you are viewing the home. Many real estate agents are only allowing for one family at a time in to view a home and some may require that you book an appointment in order to be allowed to view a home even during an open house. Be sure to check with the real estate agent before you simply pop in. Many real estate agents will ask that you avoid touching anything in the home and will most likely have doors open and lights on for your viewing when you arrive. You should plan on notifying your agent when you arrive at the home for your viewing. Many agents will ask that you text them when you arrive and ask that you stay in your car until they are ready for you to view the home. This way, there is a limited number of people in the home at one time. Many sellers and agents will not even consider showing a house to anyone without a pre-approval letter. So make sure that you've gotten your pre-approval letter from your lender before you ask to see a house. The first step in getting a pre-approval letter is to meet with your mortgage lender. Probably the most important thing you will want to do is to first check with the property listing agent about their requirements for viewing the home, as many agents will have different requirements. Be sure to check with your real estate agent to find out the requirements for the homes you wish to look at. Wherever you are in the home buying process, you should not let the current COVID environment deter you from still looking for your dream home. Rates are historically low and there are some amazing houses on the market. You just need to make sure and be prepared ahead of time to view the homes you're looking at. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you would like to discuss it further. So if you would, please feel free to call me, Mitch Millat, Riviera Financial Mortgage, 424-290-8294. You can also email me, Mitch at RivieraFinancial.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Mitchell Millat. 
or on my Facebook homepage, Mitch Millette, Riviera Financial, Beverly Hills. Thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you soon and wishing you much, much success in the future.